hey beautiful people welcome back to my channel and thank you for coming back thank you for liking and sharing and saying those things right now i'm with my baby he's gonna get some papa jones which i told him to boycott because the CEO is freaking racist. You told me after I bought it. I know you are you are on the phone and I didn't want to say anything. You just said phone. it, man. Everybody know. I'll be back. Okay, back. So I'm gonna get my hair done today. I'm gonna do it by myself, like usual. Which all my sister or my other adopted sister to see, gonna um, gonna help me. Um, today I'm gonna talk about um mental illness for sick people i mean about sick people because i struggle with um i've been depressed since i was born 15 years old and i feel like it never got better i feel like it just keep getting worse and worse i mean like i have some days it's good and some day where i just want to die which i was um I was, I went to the hospital, but it was time for me to go home, but they kept me because I was suicidal. I am still am, but not as bad because my boyfriend helped me with it. And I feel like when you were like in a Haitian family, especially the Caribbean, I feel like not all black people, but most black parents or Caribbean parents, they don't really pay attention to depression, anxiety, because they think we don't have any problem. We're just kids. Not, we don't have any bills to pay. We don't, we, we're we not the one working and struggling. But that's not true because a lot of us struggle. I mean, I feel like black people are not supposed to struggle with this type of stuff. Which I know a lot of people struggle with this type of stuff. Um, and I'm one of them. And then being sick of top of, on top of that made it worse. And the thing is because I am sick, that's why I am depressed. And then other, I'm going to other issues, and then just everything just it's just really bad right now. But you know, and like something I want to say, like I've read somewhere that suicidal is selfish. It's selfish and it's not. But I'm not telling you, don't go kill yourself. Please do not go do that. But you know, if like life, like how do I say this? Death is not the worst part of life. Once you enter life, you cannot escape death. You know, we don't know when our day will come. But like I said, I always tell people this thing is worse than death. Um, so, um, you know, so the time I'm going to talk about like um, mental illness and depression, which my little baby helped me with. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys you another day. Right <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys another day because um, my phone just dropped. So I'm gonna continue the video later on because I'm gonna go home. Are you gonna keep laughing at me? <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna go home. So see you guys later. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back, for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Um, I just show a clip of me recording in the car and my phone fell so i'm going to continue talking about um depression and mental illness um i first noticed i was depressed around the time i started noticing that i was sick but nobody else noticed it even though i told them but nobody believed me then i started to get sad then the sadness stayed for a pretty long time. It's still there. It's even worse now. Um, I struggle with suicidal thoughts a lot. I tried to commit suicidal a couple of times. I never fully went through with it, but I did hurt myself physically. And I kind of abused my pain medication. Um, so yeah, um, I'll say... First of all, if you are struggling with that, you should seek help. Um, it's, a, it's a very hard topic to talk about because I don't really talk to a lot of people about this stuff. Only my boyfriend and some people, but they like 
brush it off to another color station. Um, it's really hard because I had like for me with fight with um, mental illness and depression, I cannot control what I think sometimes. And I was diagnosed with depression in the hospital because I was talking to a psychiatrist and I told her because I was going through a lot. And then I had to stay in the hospital for a bit more, but I was never diagnosed with mental illness. Yeah. I mean, even though depression is a part of mental illness, but not the overall, even though I have anxiety and depression, that's what I know I struggle with personally and suicidal thoughts. If you're struggling, please seek help, seek help talk to somebody. Um, the thing with seeking help is just I don't want to be put on medications for something that's in my, like, I'm struggling with emotionally and mentally, you know. I should, like, you know, I think talking, if talking doesn't help, I get it, you have to go further. But for me, talking helps a lot. And that's why I make those YouTube videos because it helps because um, I don't really meet a lot of sick people. So it's a way for me to reach out to other sick people. You know, that's why I told you guys, if you guys have any questions, you guys want to talk to me, you guys can leave it down in the comment or DM me on Instagram. Which I will put in the description below, but I never mention it because I'm not really looking for um, followers or anything like that. But yeah, um, and the thing that kind of bothers me with depression and mental illness that, especially in the black community, family, the parents don't really pay attention to those stuff. Like if somebody's abu abuse can be abused, can cause depression and mental illness and suicidal thoughts. When... People or abuse in black community, they don't believe the person and that's really bad. And for guys, like even even if you like I'm talking about black community, but even if you're outside of the black community, like guys are not supposed to show their emotion. They are supposed to say tough, to not cry. But me, I always tell my boyfriend, show me your true colors, show me that you have emotion, show me that you could cry. You, you get, uh, he gets mad, but, yeah, but who doesn't get mad? Like, you have to show me who you are. Like, saying, like, having a harsh shell is not really gonna contribute to our, our relationship. Or it doesn't have to be, a, like, boyfriend or girlfriend or wife or husband relationship. And then, but, like, friendship-wise, you know, show that you have emotion. Don't always stay cold. I, I see a lot of people, especially the young people, say, I'm a cold-hearted person. I, well, what's good about being cold-hearted? Like, that's the the word that would cold-hearted. Like, why do we need another cold-hearted person? Like me, I am very emotional. Like, and there's really nothing wrong with that. Like, I like to feel things. It's really good to feel things. But I get it. Like, people been hurt. People been um abused. They've been stabbed. They've been um betrayed. That happened to me. But I, I'm not really a cold-hearted person. Like. I am too emotional, like, that sometimes I'm vulnerable, but sometimes I'm not, but, like, sometimes my emotions take the best of me, but that's not good, sometimes you have to take with your head, not with your emotions, but, you know, you gotta feel things, and it's okay to feel things, it's okay to cry, I me, mean, I, like, I cry a lot, that's, you know, talking is a way to express crying, writing, I think, which I, I don't know if I'm gonna do that on here, um, but, um, you know, there's another way to express what you feel. You know, and it's okay to cry. If you have to cry for a long time, but no one to pick up yourself. No one to say enough is enough. If you are in a, in a relationship that's not good, that's making you sad, that's depressing, that's bad for you, and that's causing you to be like that, you gotta leave it. Some people don't know how to let go. You have to learn how to let go, to learn new things, to experience new things. Like, experiencing new things will help you. And... Doing something that you love will also help with depression. And, yeah, I I feel like I, like I don't really see that on YouTube. I, yeah, it's like, I like to talk about those things because I am very emotional. Like, I don't mind talking about emotions for a pretty long time. But, yeah, we have to talk about emotions, depression, mental illness. Because a lot of us are dying out here. We, some, some of us don't like to ask for help. 
um even though we sh we don't have like sometimes you don't have to speak it like your action like the way you are the way you care yourself will tell if you're depressed or not but some people are neutral about a lot of things and it's hard for the people to tell if they need help or not and if you want help seek help it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be a psychiatrist like a close person a best friend somebody you feel comfortable to talk about to talk about it with and it doesn't have to even be a person you know sometimes like, even strangers that I don't know they come and talk to me about their life problems i'm like wow i like i don't for some reason people feel like they could tell me anything they just blur it out like this because um it, it it doesn't have to be somebody you know to talk to about it but if you feel more comfortable talking to somebody you feel comfortable with or search for like a group session you know so yeah i struggle with depression a lot and anxiety especially i don't like being a, 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 around a lot of people i get so sweaty and i really don't like that that's why i'm mostly all by myself always around people i know um so like i said you guys could talk to me down in the comment we shall all reply or like your comments um so please be careful don't kill yourself i know like life is really hard like i am going through a lot right now like being sick and being out of school being away from my parents it's a lot it's a lot of things that could make you kill yourself but please don't do it you know speak here i'm gonna keep repeating to seek help because i don't take death as i mean the same way other people do because once you enter life there's no way for you to escape death you know but um another thing too you already won a lot of battles because there i mean battles there's somebody else could have been born in your place like that's your first battle like an egg and a sperm it could have been any egg or sperm but it was you here even though you're not where you want to be but you here and the thing i hate about myself just i always give people the best advice but i don't take it for myself i'm just like why well, make it like i'm making somebody else's life better but me i'm still here in my little hole and just hey i'm gonna help you but let me not help myself you know that's one thing also that like, i'm working on myself like to make myself feel better because you know i'm leaving i'm alive you know that's a really good thing you know i thought this video did that it could have been a bus or a toilet you know could have been a mosquito they don't even live for that long but hey they are here sucking people's blood so you gotta live your life so thank you guys for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and see you guys next time. Bye.